Friday. Hi, Linda. Happy <laughs> Friday. It's always Friday, it seems. It's always Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so how was your week? Were you inside or outside your comfort zone this week? Yeah, we're talking about comfort zone. Yeah. I think I was both. I was <laughs> sometimes inside and sometimes outside the comfort zone. Yeah, well, I think that's how we generally we generally are. So what does comfort zone mean for you? And, and how do you, uh, what, what, what is being outside your comfort zone? What, what takes you outside your comfort zone? Let's start there. Yeah, um, I, so I feel like there's, two ways to get out of your comfort zone <laughs> one is willingly like <laughs> okay i'm willing to get out of my comfort zone because i want to i want to create something or i want to reach something or i want to get somewhere so i go willingly out of my comfort zone but then there is also the unwilling <laughs> getting in the uh, outside of the comfort zone when something happens that actually puts you out of your comfort zone even though you don't want to it's like um mm. yeah but so i at least let's say like that uh, i don't like the ones <laughs> that put me out of the comfort zone without me agreeing but um yeah. other than that so the willingly one i actually try to do this on a regular basis like with mm. with smaller things to to train myself <laughs> um because like, for example, in the beginning, Facebook lives were very much out of my comfort zone. And now when when I know, oh, it's Friday, well, not Friday uh, with chats with you, I was already used to Facebook lives. But I remember very a few years back when I did my first Facebook live, that was, oh, my God, I thought I'm going to die. <laughs> and um, and I mean, now we're, we're gotten used to it, no? So, and right. this is kind of what I mean with when I'm trying to go intentionally out of my comfort zone. It's just kind of expanding and and, and growing, kind of like mm. growing as a person or growing in a skill, growing um, willingly and not standing still. So that's when I go out uh, out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, they do say that growth does not happen inside your comfort zone. And um, I think once I understood that um i was a lot more willing happy even to go outside my comfort zone i would say i go outside it daily <laughs> i mean i mean i'm a highly sensitive i'm an introvert so my comfort yeah. zone is just you know kind of <laughs> being quiet at home you have a cup of tea you know <laughs> yeah um, that's that's my comfort zone so um anything i mean I, like you i do facebook lives i do a lot of video stuff it took me a long time to get really comfortable with that. And I, I wouldn't say I'm really comfortable with it. It's still, I know I'm going outside my comfort zone, but I'm more used to it. You know, I can, I can do it more yeah. easily. It was yeah. a time when um, I, for two years, I was um, once a month, I would go and be uh, a guest on a TV, local news TV show. And um, that was really outside my comfort zone. And I would get, you'd think after two years, you know, I would be really comfortable with doing it. I never, ever was comfortable with doing it. I could do it. And what made it better, like we're doing videos. I feel so much more comfortable doing this because I'm talking to you. If it was just me, I know a lot of people do Facebook Lives and other videos where they're just, it's just them. And they're very comfortable with that. That is really uncomfortable for me. I do it because I, I do a lot of videos for my classes and things like that, my courses. Um, but it never feels good. I always, it's like I get this brain freeze. It's like, yeah. or I'll, I know what I want to say, but then I might go off in different directions. So I have to have something to keep me on track. You know, it's just this idea that there's a camera and it's just me and I'm talking to it. But if I'm yeah. talking to a person, like when I was doing the TV thing, I was being interviewed and I was talking to a person. So it wasn't so bad. It was just there were cameras there and, it, you know, it was yeah, all yeah. that. But um, it's much easier. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just so just just by virtue of the fact that as an introvert, you know, I think most things are outside my comfort zone. Um, it's just I know I can do them. And I just sometimes it does take a bit of an extra push to do it. But. Like I said, growth doesn't happen inside your comfort zone. And I'm very committed to personal growth. So I have to go outside it if I want to go. Yeah, and, and I feel like a lot of people 
might complain and say nothing happens, every day is the same, I'm in a rut. But then the minute you suggest that they do something different and not even anything extremely scary, just something different, oh, mm -hmm. you know? And so I feel like it's good for us also like the, um, just to stay flexible a little bit mm -hmm. to, um, to not get too stuck somewhere. It's like you, you talk a lot about energy and I just feel like for us too, it's like, yes, I very much love to sit somewhere cozy with, uh, with my coffee or my tea and read a book. And, and that is my comfort zone, but nothing happens there. Like if we no. do this for days yeah, on all end, the time. Like, it yeah. will become our uncomfort zone eventually because nothing. So, so then, and then, and like I said, it's not every day the same. So maybe some days we don't feel so good or something is off, then we might not push ourselves too much. Um, other days we feel stronger and more than, than uh, maybe we push ourselves. And I feel, I feel like it, not everybody has to go and do a Facebook Live right away or mm -hmm. something. You can do other things. But I feel like um, if we're not trying to get out of our comfort zone, like nobody of us would be walking if we wouldn't get out of our comfort zone. If you think about a little baby, mm -hmm. they're probably comfortable laying there on their back and every, every need is taken care of. But we have this inner um, force that I, I think takes us out. And if we're not listening to it, then we're getting stuck. And um, and 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 don't evolve no not just right. personal development but just in general like probably right. uh, in, in general we don't evolve anymore so well, yeah. i had a, a coach one time who used to say you've got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable yeah and i think that's so true it, it because if we do if we don't do things because it's uncomfortable or because we're afraid we'll you know something will go wrong we might fail at it then then there is no growth we just stay the same and, and actually you know, when I, I used to, when I, uh, years ago, before I started any kind of personal growth or knew anything about myself, you know, I, I did have a fear of change. And um, now I would say I'm more afraid of not changing <laughs> than I am, you know, just staying the same and, and being stuck in that than I, I, I don't have a fear of uh, change anymore. It's not always comfortable, but you can... When, you, when you've got to push yourself to, to go outside your comfort zone to, in order to grow, um, you can still look for ways to do it, to make it, you can, to set yourself up for success, I like to say, to make it easier for yourself. Yeah. It's like when I knew I had to be doing videos regularly, it, it just helped me to, you know, first of all, I, 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 I was aware that I was bringing up all these obstacles. Oh, but you know, I've got to put makeup on. I've got to. What am I going to wear? What am I going to? Where am I going to do it? I've got to get the right lighting, and all, you know, it, I just my brain was making it very complicated. But then once I decided I was going to do it, I just had to find the the easiest way, you know, a good place to do it where the lighting was okay. Where and and I stopped caring about whether I got makeup on or whether, <laughs> you know, what people think about how I look. That doesn't matter to me anymore. So um yeah I just getting all those obstacles out of the way really just helped me to get more comfortable with doing it it's still not comfortable but I'm more comfortable yeah and it's it's mindset too so mm. before we came on the call I knew we were talking about comfort zone so I, I was googling real quick and um found a um, website that talked all about how to get out of comfort zone is from positive psychology the oh, yeah. whole thing comes you know mm -hmm. and they were talking there about it. a lot of has to do also with how we frame it in our mind how yeah. our mindset is and I heard that before for example one of my musical heroes is Bruce Springsteen and he, he was asked once whether he's still nervous when he goes on stage or not mm -hmm. and he said yes I'm nervous but I don't call it nervous I call it excited and that's exactly mm -hmm. what they were talking about on that website of positive psychology they said instead of saying oh i'm afraid i'm afraid you can say i'm excited because it's mm. the same Amazing. physiological uh, thing happening so by just telling yourself no i'm not nervous i'm excited because i'm doing something new i'm doing something out of my comfort zone if i wouldn't feel the way i feel um i wouldn't be out of my comfort zone <laughs> i wouldn't be right. growing and right. so now instead of saying i'm afraid or i'm, I'm anxious or uh, 
the words that we have negative associations with, tell yourself more positive. I'm excited. I'm, mm -hmm. um, well, it's yeah. also, it, I think it ties into what we were talking about last week, which was yeah, intentions. Yeah. Exactly. And it's, 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 or as I like to call it, the energy behind something. So yeah. if you're going to do something that you're thinking is uncomfortable, you can set an intention or set the energy up beforehand to make it, just like you're saying, more positive, to make it a, a, a more comfortable experience. Um, and, and you're just setting yourself up that way for success. You're putting the right energy into it. But if you go into something thinking, oh, my God, this is going to be really hard and, you know, all of those things, um, yeah. then you make it a lot more difficult. You make it, you're setting it's like resistance. You know, you've got this, you're going into it with resistance instead of more of an energy flow where you can naturally flow into it. Um, I, I've, you know, I've done things now. I've, I've done enough things now to know I can really do anything I want as long as it's meaningful to me. I can mm -hmm. accomplish anything I want. It, it, it just I've got to get in the right frame of mind, the right energy, and um, even if it scares me, uh, I love, there's a book I love called "Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway." Yeah, you, know? yeah. you, you just do. Yeah, I read that book too many years ago. Yes. And, um, and and so the other thing that that positive uh, psychology website also talked about, which um, which I was very happy about, they said also like take baby steps, and that's what mm -hmm. I always uh, tell my clients too. It's like yeah. don't just start with the most scary, biggest, most emotional thing. Train yourself with little things. Train mm -hmm. yourself with with things that maybe don't have so much meaning to you. So even if it may not work, or even if, like, we don't have to go, for example, you don't have to go live right away. And and well, like nowadays, nobody's going to see it possibly anyways. No, Facebook has the algorithm that nobody sees it. Right. But I mean, <laughs> you don't have to right away start with something extremely scary. You can start with, with something um, a little bit less intimidating and just start how I call it, like when I talk with my clients about decluttering, I always say you have to de um, train your decluttering muscle first. And here too, mm -hmm. it's like if we haven't gone out of our comfort zone in a long time, we don't want to maybe start with the most scary thing. Right. Start with smaller things. And they, for example, say too, it's like try to change some things in your daily life, like how how you do certain routines or how the way you drive to the office or the way you mm. go to the grocery store or don't go always the same way around in the grocery store go the other yeah. way around or just small things that already may take you out of the comfort zone but they are not so scary you know right. so well you could even take it to another level i've uh, read a couple of books about you know how to balance left right left brain right brain and um, they talk a lot about using your non-dominant hand, you mm -hmm. know, so um, try just writing something with your non-dominant hand occasionally, mm -hmm. try doing something. And I try to remember that I'll, instead of mm -hmm. just always using my right hand, I'll occasionally try to use my left hand just for variety. You know, it's not comfortable. It, it, it doesn't feel right, but mm -hmm. it, it's actually, I think it's good to do it because I feel like, um, it's stretching me a little bit, you know, yeah. and, uh, in a good way. So. And you don't necessarily have to do the writing part. I feel like that is again almost like mm. it's hard because you mm. want to write down something and with the with your uh, weak hand or whatever you want to call it, because not everybody is right handed. So maybe right. some people are left handed, and then the right hand is the one that. Uh, they can't do things but what I do sometimes is I brush my teeth with the yes. other hand like instead yeah. of the I would usually use the right one I would use the left one or um eating mm -hmm. like which hand are you regularly using for eating use the yeah. other one yeah yeah that's Stuff a, like this. yeah just doing things like that that's a great way to um I think get yourself used to mm -hmm. getting comfortable with being uncomfortable getting outside yeah. your comfort zone a little bit just varying things up and like you said go drive a different way to work or whatever it is yeah. um just varying things up because we can get stuck in a rut which becomes our comfort zone and just changing things up even just a little bit can make such a really big difference yeah um and that's how you grow that's how, that's how you grow and and it's it's a wonderful thing i think now it's a it's a wonderful thing and i don't want to be stuck inside my comfort zone as much as I love to be quiet with my cup of tea. <laughs> well, you know, like you said, I don't want to be there all the time. 
not all the time, but exactly that's what I wanted to just say. I mean, we don't have to from morning at seven when we get up till 10 at night when we go to bed, be out of our comfort zone. Nobody talks about that, but mm. um, on a regular basis, getting our be willing out to go, uh, like you said. And I also believe, like, goes back to what you said in the beginning, you can either go willingly or unwillingly. But mm -hmm. the more I think I found, the more willing you are to go outside your comfort zone, the less you find that you're forced to go outside of it. Yeah, if, you, exactly. if you try very hard to stay in it and you, you're too afraid to go outside of it, you will be forced outside of it. Um, and then it's not comfortable at all. So I think, you know, just in small ways, get used to doing that. And um, it, it really will benefit you tremendously. Yeah. And then you won't be forced to do it. <laughs> Yeah. But a lot of a lot of us um, that it just came to my mind is like when you forced from the outside, then out of your comfort zone, that is even more uncomfortable than if you would if mm. you would be willing to go out of your comfort zone. But most people, because we're as humans, we are so trained or, or wired for um, short term pleasure and we have hard time um um, how you say that postponing gratification or pleasure uh it's so much harder and then you see it i mean <laughs> just laughing you see it with tax uh, tax season though it's like yeah. all year long we could do a little bit to keep our taxes organized so that when tax season is here it's not such a hard thing and and then we could get our taxes <laughs> in but most people don't do that and then tax season comes and then this is then you have to spend lots of time out of your comfort zone if you mm. hate taxes and hate numbers and mm. whatever. So, and, and it, it's just the tax season came to mind, but it, it, with other things, it's the same thing because we're, as humans are kind of wired, like I, I think it comes from old days when we were, had to literally keep us safe, otherwise you would be dying, but now we're not dying as quick. So. Um, so now we have to actually intentionally force ourselves to get out of the comfort yeah. zone, so then not have to be pushed out of the comfort zone. And I mean, this with the tax season is even one that you can foresee that it's going to come and push yeah, you, you know out it's of the coming. comfort zone. <laughs> people are still not doing it. And then we have the other um, negative events, negative like this, that push us out of the comfort zone that we don't even see coming. Like they mm. blindside us maybe completely, you know, mm -hmm. so... And yeah. I think the more, like I said, the more you get used to and willing to be outside your comfort zone and to do things that, that feel a little bit uncomfortable, the more you realize you actually can handle anything, you know, you, yeah. anything that comes your way. And the more confident um, you'll be in your ability to handle whatever comes up. Yeah, you're um, not going to die that quick. <laughs> right. It, it's... Um, yeah, and, I mean, and so that helps you relax a lot more because you're not constantly worried about this might happen or that might happen or, or whatever. Yeah, and, and I mean, just getting back to Facebook Lives or even when I started my podcast, like when you start your podcast, I started with solo episodes. You just, you and the microphone is really odd and it's awkward, mm. you know? And in the beginning, you sure think you're going to die and then you realize, <laughs> oh, you're not going to die and nobody is right. going to call you tomorrow. You don't have seven phone call saying how awful you were you know? yeah. and then and I, I just I yeah I feel and then you can build up on it and and it just extends your comfort zone too so that's another thing that I feel like when we're stepping out of our comfort zone even in small little areas it starts to expand our comfort zone so our comfort mm. zone becomes bigger yes it gets us breathing better and I always com uh, compare it to like with like in the home, we have energy. And if we have too much clutter, we're getting more and more stuck in our life. And it's the same with the comfort zone. The comfort zone could become our jail if we're yes. not um, making sure we're constantly making sure that these boundaries are yeah. are um, getting maybe bigger and further out. And that's how we're growing. Yeah. Yeah. So don't avoid things just because it feels a little bit scary or you know it doesn't feel comfortable. Um, give things that give be willing to to give things a try and like you said start in small ways and even just start with yourself just like we said using your non-dominant yeah. hand doing something in it that you normally do the same way every time just do it in a different way read a different kind of book than you normally would 
you know, um, yeah. just reaching right. out and, um, and, and just doing something a little bit different. I, I, I have found that it really is amazing how it, it really can build your confidence and um, just life is just better. Uh, there is no yeah. growth inside your comfort zone. So you want to get outside it. And it may also keep your brain more active. Like, I think um, so. We, we always are reminded that the older we get, the more we have to um, make sure that our brain stays active and, and, and alive and, and mm. flexible and everything. And so I feel like this is challenging our brain in a little bit too, to stay, um, that, that yeah. is stay alert. And, yeah, um, you've got to keep that brain active. We need mm -hmm. All parts of you, <laughs> we need to keep, um, just keep active, yeah. you know, and uh, what do they say? Use it or lose it. And so, yeah. You, you know, you have to keep finding ways to do that. So, yeah, yeah. And just imagine when you train your weaker hand, if something happens to your strong hand, you're already used a little bit. Like, right. not, of course, we're all not um, really, really used to it, but you're already a little bit used more to do something like brushing teeth or eating mm -hmm. or whatever with mm -hmm. the other hand. So, it's, yeah, you make your life I, easier in the long run. I know a couple people who can just as easily use their non-dominant hand. You know, they can use either hand. To, I know somebody who plays tennis and, and she'll often just switch the racket in her other hand. And I'm in awe of that, you know, just to, to have that ability. So uh, yeah, just, just practice that. And, yeah, know. that's practice. Uh, yeah. I can use my left hand for a lot of things. Writing is not so good, but I can use it for a lot of things. And with a lot of things, so when I started to pay attention to with a lot of things, I realized the left hand, which is usually not my strong hand, is actually the strong hand. I do a lot of things with the left hand. Mm. And, and you might be surprised too, if you start this, all of a sudden yeah. you may feel like, oh, this goes easier with this hand, yeah. actually. Yeah, so, I, I do like to try writing sometimes with my left hand. It's never pretty. It's never. No. <laughs> <It's> never <laughs> writing, I, I'm not good then, at that either. Yeah, like, I'm not oh good at God. it. <laughs> I'm not good at it at all, but uh, I like to try it from time to time. Just, yeah. just uh, it's almost like you can feel your brain working, you know, as you yeah. try, <laughs> try to do it with your non-dominant hand. It's, uh, it's yeah, quite yeah. interesting. Yeah, anyway. but grab, grab cutlery with yes. the, uh, this hand or whatever. I mean, and it helps. It's like, and, and the more you do it, the more you get used to it and it will become easier. So yeah, definitely. So yeah. we encourage you to yeah. get comfortable with being uncomfortable and be willing to go outside your comfort zone so that you're not forced <laughs> outside your comfort yeah. zone as much. Um, but yeah. It so, uh, makes life fun too, you know? Makes life a lot more fun. It really does. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. as always, lovely to chat with you. And I look Likewise. To, uh, to our conversation next week, uh, whatever that's going to be. But, yeah, we'll um, figure that out. <laughs> we will. <laughs> All right, we'll have a fabulous weekend, Connie, and everybody yeah. who's, uh, who's watching, and uh, we'll catch up with you next week. Okay, thank okay. you. Bye-bye.